Hey everybody. So okay. Today's tip is about incense. You're like, what? Incense, Mumble Sandy. I know about incense. Okay. Yes, we all know about incense. We all know that incense is basically um goes with the air, the element of air. Okay, so it's a way of cleaning your house by air. Now, some people they use sage. Let me tell you about sage. It's been told to me by elders, sage is great, but sage doesn't help every situation. Okay, it, it just doesn't. And you always see people on TV. It's, it's been got so commercialized. You even see in movies, somebody light up the sage and they sage. And sage does not <laughs> take care of everything. Okay, it just doesn't. Sometimes you need the big guns to clean and do things. Speaking of that, stick incense. You must be careful. There we go. All right. I got to do the YouTube thing. Stick incense. Stick incense has its place. It's nice to smell good. Now, if you get plain sticks that they stick the the they call them believe it or not, they call them they call these punks when they have no no um oils on them. Now, if they are really dipped in real frankincense essential oil, which I heart, highly doubt, okay, then you can burn it for the purpose of cleansing your home. But if your spiritual worker tells you to clean your home, okay, using frankincense, please make sure that if you are using this stick incense, that it really is frankincense it really is that okay and it's not some da -dun -da -dun, okay so you want to make sure that you know like now if it's um nanka champa because it has this place too um uh, make sure it's the real thing all right but for the most part when you want to clean your house you want to get those little charcoal briquettes all right, you see them in the different spiritual supplies, or sometimes your spiritual might work or have them available where you can buy them. Okay, so what you want to do is if you're using, you know, incense to clean or bring good vibrations to your home, first thing I recommend is either you can use dragon's blood, frankincense, and myrrh, and you can also use um, three kings incense. All right, and you're probably like, what is three kings incense? I'm going to show you. Hopefully you can see this. This is it. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. It comes in this little jar. You turn it around. Probably can't really see, but it says Jerusalem on it. I don't know if that's gonna help or not. Okay. And um it kind of looks I don't know. I, I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see this or not. Let me see. But that's kind of how it looks. See those rocks in there? That's what you're looking for for any kind of um, rock incense, okay? Like frankincense, myrrh. Please don't burn myrrh by itself unless you know what you're doing. I've been told this by elders. I mean, unless you know what you're doing, you want to be careful burning myrrh because myrrh, it attracts all kinds of different spirits. All right. You also want to be careful if you're burning cinnamon. Now, cinnamon is a wonderful thing to burn after you've cleansed your home properly. You've gotten all the negativity out. You didn't open the windows. There's other videos I've talked about how you clean your home. OK, now, once you've done that and you've cleansed your home, then you could take a briquette and or the same briquette. Or even if you don't want to do that, you can take cinnamon cinnamon oil or cinnamon itself put it in a pot and let it permeate throughout your home okay but do this after you have cleaned away the negative energy you're like why mambo sandy because cinnamon intensifies anything so if there's bad in your home it's going to intensify it if there's good in your home it's going to intensify it so you want to make sure that basically your home is properly cleansed. 
when you're cleansing with incense, you want, I'm going to pretend that this is the briquette. Okay. So you will put your incense on top of your briquette and then you would, you know, light it, match, candle, however you want to light it. After that, you will put it on a, um, I'm going to say like a, a fireproof dish. Okay. Some people sometimes use like a, a shell or something like that. Um, but make sure you're careful because these things can heat up and they don't burn you. You want to make sure that you open up every closet, every drawer, cabinets, bathroom, everything you want to open so that the incense can get into those areas. Okay. Because guess what? Little nasty negativity, it loves to hide. And it loves to hide around junk, like things that you don't need anymore. Okay, those are the kind of things that basically you just don't need in your home. All right, if it's broke, I say throw it out. If you're not going to wear it, throw it out. Don't hold on to these things because when you hold on to these things, what it does is this. It creates basically blockages people don't realize this but that's exactly what it causes it starts to build up over time okay so once again when you're cleansing your home with using the element of air you want to make sure that you get in every corner you want to go in the corners you want to go you know you want to start at the back of your home and move forward all right even pull back your sheets let that incense get in the sheets under the bed you know make sure it gets everywhere make sure you have your windows open I've had people say oh I cleansed my home and then the spirit will tell me yeah but they had their windows closed so you're basically chasing <laughs> chasing the negative energy from room to room okay so you want to make sure you have your windows open all right and if it's winter time and you're cleansing your home, just crack them a little bit. Have your stuff ready. So as they say, your good heat don't go out. <laughs> All right. So you want to make sure that your windows are cracked open a little bit, just a little bit. You know, um, make sure that your bathroom window is open. You want to make sure that you get in every area. All right. The next thing about incense is this. If you've already have cleansed your home and you already have the good energy going it's okay to light good smelling incense because those in that the fragrance the good spirits love to smell good things so that's a way that you can kind of keep things balanced all right so um you can use those incenses then for just to keep, you know, a nice atmosphere, keep things smelling good and things like that in your home. All right. So those are, are some ways, the incenses that you should use. Okay. Like I said, you can use cinnamon. You could take cinnamon bark and put cinnamon bark on a briquette. Um, some people, I've even seen them use honey. If they want to sweeten up a situation, they'll put just like a dab of honey on um, the briquette it won't turn it out if you don't put too much and cinnamon and they use that so there's different ways you can use these briquettes all right to incense your home go thoroughly through your home and then after oh yeah after you cleanse your home you have to bring good energy in because when you remove something you have to put something so you will want to start at the front part of the, the front of your house, moving your way inside, talking to your spirits, talking to your quadro, talking to your guardian angel to bring the goodness back into your home. Now, some people have different methods of doing this. OK, some people have spiritual washes they use for their floors. There's different things that you can use, but I'm giving you the basics. OK. Though that's what you need to know. You know, you would start to bring the good good things back into your home by lighting your brick. Probably the briquette is still lit. And then you can put your cinnamon on there, your honey on there, maybe some brown sugar on there, and start to move inwards and go into every room and talk about how you're bringing positive energy into your home, happiness, love, tranquility, all those things like that money prosperity you're talking about all those good things um some people even sprinkle basil on there 
Okay, so it depends on what you know, your spiritual know-how, and this way you'll have good things brought to you. Why you also have this briquette going, ladies, open your pocketbooks up, you know, get that in there, get that incense in there too, so that, you know, um, any negative energy can be uplifted or lifted off of your pocketbook. Men, the same thing. You can take your wallet, put your wallet over there, let that incense clean, and also bring back to you good things. All right, so this is Mambo Sandy, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.